Hey guys, it's Nash Bueller with the Bueller Group. Hey, David Heaton here as well. We're here in Parker Square in Flower Mound, Texas, a town that's actually very near and dear to my heart personally. Uh, I was born and raised here. Uh, our family run business. We've been here for over 35 years. So today we're going to be looking at the history of Flower Mound, also the amenities that it has to offer, as well as the schools. And then we'll actually tour two or three different homes, show you some price points as Flower Mound has a wide variety of price points to offer. If you guys like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment as we tour multiple towns and cities across the Metroplex. So if y'all are thinking about moving to North Texas, we're going to give you guys the inside information. Hey guys, to give you guys a little background on history and background for Flower Mound as a town, we are actually out here at the Mound, the namesake for Flower Mound. Uh, this is actually was a religious site, started back in the 1840s, people came out here. Uh, we had the first settlements back in 1850s. Uh, some of the founders are going to be uh, Morris, Geralt, Kirkpatrick. Uh, those names are important and actually you're going to see them in most of the major roads here throughout Flower Mound. Um, Flower Mound became a, an official town in 1961, but we really saw the first boom in population in 1974 with the opening of DFW Airport, which is just four miles south of town. Uh, it's actually the second busiest airport in uh, the United States. You actually see some traffic flying in and out overhead quite often. Uh, one of the things Flower Mound is known for is being a commuter city to both DFW, but also to Dallas and Fort Worth, we're about 20 to 25 miles between both cities, so a very easy commute to get back into most of the, both of those major cities. One of the things that Flymont's really known for is, is its foundation as a very rural town. It has a rural feel to it, and it's something that's been very important to the town of Flymont as a whole. As it grew in the 1980s and 90s, it was very big. That you'll see as you drive around town, there's a lot of trees in front of all the businesses. They were big about making sure that growth was slow. That they, it's not a concrete jungle like you see with a lot of these big towns that blew up overnight. So it's really what gives it a very unique feel and what, what really brings people to, to Flower Mound as a whole. So Flower Mound actually has many great options when it comes to amenities, including here, Morrell Park, which is one of over 50 parks in the city. As you can tell behind me, we have great views of Lake Grapevine. There are many options for walking trails, amazing cycling trails, and options for fishing as well. We've also got Twin Coves, which is a 240-acre park again in a city which has great walking trails and also options for renting cabins. I believe we have 19 in total, which is actually a great option if you want to look for a local stay with family. We also have Hound Mound Park, which is the aptly named dog park in the area, which is a five acre lot, which has separate options for small and large dogs. So it's a great place to bring them out for a walk, get them some good exercise. The uh, Parks and Rec Departments of Flower Mound actually handles over a thousand acres of land, including 75 miles of general trails, including 14 miles of equestrian trails, Fun fact, Bridalwood is one of the few places in the Metroplex that has a equestrian center. So if that's something you look for with a family, it's definitely an option to try. Speaking of Bridalwood, it's actually home to one of two 18 hole golf courses in the city. Uh, the other one being Tour 18, which is famous to a lot of golfers as it mimics a lot of the famous courses across the country. So it is great to check out for those who are avid golf fans. If you are active, the city has a number of activity centers, one on Wellington, and there's another on Gerald has facilities for many sports, including baseball, softball, basketball, swimming pools, I'm going to say soccer, pains me, uh, as well as a gym. Um, if you're very active, there are also a number of gyms in the area, including Gold's, which is very famous for a lot of people, Lifetime Fitness and the Club for Fitness, as well as some smaller gyms in the area. If you like to eat, which I know I do, there are plenty of options around town. You have Thai food, Indian, Italian food, Mexican food, great Texas steakhouses. Some of the more popular spots in town are going to be the Riverwalk, which has some really nice bars and restaurants. You've got Parker Square, again, with the same, and then Lakeside. Lakeside, we'll actually be checking out a little bit later tonight, but it actually has some great patio spots, great for live music, hang with friends. They actually have the Lakeside Music Series, which runs most of the year every Friday night, which is something you should definitely check out. One of the things that Flower Mound is actually known for, and one of the biggest draws to the town as a whole is gonna be the schools. 
So we're actually out here in front of Flower Mound High School, one of two schools that are going to be in Flower Mound. Uh, you have Flower Mound High School, which is actually the school that I personally went to. Go Jags! Uh, as well as Marcus High School, which is going to be across town. Uh, that's going to be divided both east and west. Flower Mound is going to be fed into by the homes in the west side of Flower Mound, whereas Marcus is going to be homes in the east. Uh, we're going to put a link down below so you guys can check out the ratings for all the schools that feed into both of these high schools. Again, both exemplary rated. Uh, so check out that link to make sure you can see all the ratings for all the different schools here in Flower Mound. Now, one of the things you will notice is depending on which school you feed into, you're going to see a little bit of difference in the price points. Um, so right now, we're actually going to go check out a few of those homes so you can see which what you get with your money and where you're going to be going to for which high school. So let's go take a look at those. Uh, hey guys, we're here at the first home today in Flower Mound. Uh, this home is actually currently listed at 435, going to be kind of our entry home for our tour. So entry level in Flower Mound right now is going to be anywhere from the mid threes up until around the low fours. So um, let's go check it out. Hey guys, we're at our second listing for today. This is going to be our mid-level listing. This one is currently listed at six forty-five, and although this is our mid-level price point, this one is actually closer to the average price point of a home in Flamand at the moment. Let's take a look. Hey guys, we're up to our, our final listing for the day. This is going to be our upper end listing. This one is currently listed at 1.15. So in Flower Mound at the minute, you can either get land or location when it comes to a million plus. Uh, this one today, we're going to be location. We are actually at Lakeside, uh, as we've mentioned previously before. So uh, let's go take a look.
So as I mentioned earlier, we're here at Lakeside. It's a great place to sit on a patio, hang with friends, and have a drink. So definitely check it out. Hope you guys got all the information that you need. If you guys are thinking of moving here, if you have any questions, comment down below or give us a call. Look forward to seeing you guys. Cheers. Cheers.